So your goldfish have come down with some internal parasites. Yuck. Well, lucky for you, I'm going to show you how you can cure that. But before I do that, you're going to press the like button and you're going to press the subscribe button. You're going to press them both and I'm going to thank you for that. Thank you very much. All right, let's get into the video. So a couple signs that your goldfish might have some internal parasites uh, could be that the goldfish is slowing down, it's looking pretty lethargic, it's not very interested in food, it has stringy white feces. There are a number of signs that your goldfish might have some internal parasites. Uh, and if you take some of their poop and put it underneath a microscope, you might be able to see some of those parasites. That's what I did here. I put a sample of their stringy white poop underneath the microscope and I saw this large worm. And I took a little closer look and I saw these smaller things, maybe smaller parasites, possibly protozoa. I'm not sure. I'm, not, I'm no expert. Uh, but I'm going to treat them with a broad spectrum medication that can cure both of them. Okay, so before I show you how to make the medicated feed, I would recommend buying some of this pure Preziquantel powder. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, this stuff is great for internal parasites, and I put this throughout the entire water. I don't just feed this. I put this in the water. It's pretty cheap for how many gallons it treats. It's around $60, but this whole bottle treats around 5,000 gallons. So I highly recommend getting this, and you want to put this in straight into the water, all throughout the water system. All right, now into the medicated feed. These are some things you want to have. You want to have a very accurate scale. Uh, you want to have the pure Preziquantel powder. This is great for you know, those larger internal parasites, even external parasites. Uh, the next thing you want to have is some Metroplex or Metronidazole. Uh, you want to have it in a powdered form. If you have uh, pills, you want to crush them up. And you also want to have some Epsom salt. You want to have some measuring spoons. Everyone should already have that. And, you know, the little scooper that comes with the metronidazole. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what you need for one tablespoon of feed. I'm doing six tablespoons here, so just, you know, know that I'm doing six times as much of all the ingredients as you should. So you want to do a little over one-eighth of a teaspoon of Epsom salt per tablespoon of food. And you also want to do, I'd say, around 150 milligrams of metronidazole Per tablespoon of food so I'm doing six tablespoons of feed right here so I know it's roughly around 900 milligrams which is basically close to a gram so I end up just doing a full gram of metronidazole you can do a little bit of an overdose on this stuff it's not going to really affect the fish that much they're pretty they're pretty tolerant to these antibiotics and these uh, these medications uh, after you measure out your your metronidazole and your Epsom salt you want to pour that into your cup where you have your your feed so for the Preziquantel powder, I like to do like a two to one ratio of the metronidazole to the Preziquantel. So for my six tablespoons, I did one gram of the metronidazole, so I'm doing half a gram of the Preziquantel. If you're doing only one tablespoon, I recommend you know around roughly 150 milligrams of the metronidazole. So you'd only do around 75 milligrams of the Preziquantel. So it's around a two to one ratio, and that would be 0 0.075 grams of the Preziquantel powder. And you just measure that out onto the scale, and then again, you would pour it into your cup that has your other feed and the medication in it. Now, some people recommend using isopropyl alcohol and using that to mix up the feed with the medication, and then it just, you know, goes into the air and evaporates quickly. I like to use water just to be safe, and I use like around a one-to-one -one ratio of the feed to the water, sometimes a little more just to make sure you get all that dissolved. And you want to make sure you mix it very, very thoroughly because you have some of those Epsom salt crystals in there. You want to make sure those get fully dissolved. And after you mix it all up very well, you want to lay it out on a big, uh, you know, aluminum sheet. You know, you can get a pan. I just got some aluminum foil here and I, I laid it out all over the sheet. And you're going to put this somewhere that's sunny and not too windy. So I chose my greenhouse and you want to have it dry there. It might take 12 hours or so for it to dry. But you want to make sure that it is very, very dry before you seal it up. Now, okay, now I'm going to quickly go over what each part of the medicated feed does. The Preziquantel powder is good for those larger worms, those larger parasites, uh, both internal and externally. Uh, the metronidazole, you could apply this to the entire tank, but it's expensive. So I like to just put it in the feed alone, and that gets a lot of the protozoa and bacteria as well as some other parasites. The Epsom salt is like a laxative. It helps, it helps them poop out all that crap, all those bugs in their stomach. Now, in addition to having the Praziquantel powder in the water as well, I would also re recommend slowly upping the temperature to somewhere between like 80 and 86 degrees. 
Uh, that really helps them fight off diseases. And I would also recommend dosing some aquarium salt in the water. I think they recommend, you know, roughly a tablespoon per five gallons. Uh, you do those things, those will just help them overall fight the disease. Now, this is some of the medicated feed that I had prepared earlier that I still left over. So when you feed it to your fish, they're probably not going to like it quite as much as a normal feed because uh, the medications in there can be a little bitter. So if you're used to giving your fish some pretty big, large feedings, I would say make the feedings a little smaller at first because they're probably not going to like it as much. They're not going to be so aggressively going at it to eat it. They still will eat it if you do the, the measurements correctly. It shouldn't be too bitter, but they're not going to be you know, at quite as excited about it. By the way, the fish I'm feeding this to right now are not currently sick, but around once a year, I do like to feed medicated feed for roughly a week or two just to clear up any issues that might be there and just keep my fish healthy in the long term. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Pressing those buttons really helps my channel out, really helps it grow. I really appreciate it and hope I can continue to get you guys some more informative content to make sure you can keep your goldfish in a good and healthy way. Thank you.